Good morning. One of the biggest questions I get, um, I guess, would be, how do I know where to start? How do I know where to begin detecting? And I've said this before, go where gold has been found before. And how do you know the old timers were there? Well, here's a good example. Okay. This little wash right here. Not much was done up here. But as we look down, look at this. Those are hand stack piles, dry wash piles. And they worked this area pretty darn hard. Long time ago. Look at this stuff. And this here, we're on top of a uh, sedimentary material. I call it mudstone. Some of it's real fine, like right down there. Almost looks like shale. And then uh, later there will be a layer of this other stuff that's got actual little pieces of gravel and stuff in it. And then you get to another layer of the uh, mudstone and on and on. But on top of all this stuff, is the key and you see all this metamorphic rock in here you see quartz you see ironstone and this area is just loaded with all the right material you look for at San Domingo when you're out here hunting you got to keep in mind that this placer deposit is millions and millions of years old it's pre-cambrian and post-cambrian the main deposit here there's some secondary enrichment zones farther up in the mountains a little ways but down here, this is old stuff. And a lot of this plaster gravel was here before these mountains in the background were even here. You got a big pack rat nest down there. Can you see it? Looks like a little pile of sticks and rocks. <laughs> it's a big one. But uh, this is really interesting when you see this. And this is what you look for out here. And I've not hunted this little area right here much where I'm a club claim and just over yonder I found several nuggets over the years and I'm gonna hope I can get a couple more today but I thought I'd share this with you and you can see more of this metamorphic material in the quartz just showing up everywhere in here and it's laying right on top of this other stuff quartz yeah, got lots of quartz in here and here's some Ironized quartz Just look at this. This is just perfect and you got that mudstone showing up here and there As you can see and this is some of it right here. It almost looks like a shale or something It's basically a sedimentary rock mudstone I suppose it's somewhat related to shale. I'm not a geologist, so I really can't answer any of that. But I do know this is a good place to hunt for gold. And we're going to see if we can't get some today. All righty, we got a target right here. Boot scraped it. Got the rocks off the top. I thought it was going to be a hot rock. This one. But it's not. There's a target. So, we're going after it. I like them when they're actually a little bit deep and I consider a couple of inches a little bit deep when you're out here I and mean, most of the trash is pretty shallow unless you're in a place that's been turned over still wet here too from the rain all right this one's still in here but you got to keep in mind too this is a lot of this is tailings and them old boys, they didn't care what they threw in there. Okay, we're going to have to go after this with a pick. How about that? Okay. Okay. This 
we're still down in the hole. So, what is it? Nugget or a heartbreaker? What do you think? Whatever it is, it's out of the hole and I don't see anything stuck to my magnet. So, huh. Uh oh, maybe there's just something caught on my magnet. Nope. Nope, I think it's right up here. Nope. Yeah, well. Heartbreaker. Yep, gonna be stuck on the magnet. Yep, let's see what we got. And is that it? No, that's iron stone. And I really don't see anything stuck to the magnet that would make that much of a racket. Huh. Okay. Huh. Have another lesson here. Move the camera back a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha There it is over there. <laughs> that one was uh, making my brain work. Somehow I moved it all the way over here when we dug it up. And yeah. it's right over here. Shoved up under there. Oh, come on. All right, I'm moving it around. That's seldom a good sign when it moves around that much. Oftentimes, it'll be a piece of iron. pinpointing inside this edge right here it's right there right here yep okay let's see what we got in my hand It's that, and it's going to be a piece of lead, I do believe. Boy, sure hurt it deep though, didn't it? Yeah, a piece of lead. Bah. That one made me work for it. I got it out of the hole and I got up under that bush somehow. Yeah. Okay, well, you know. I am metal detected and that was metal, so I guess we're doing okay. Sure I could be golden metal though. This is a fisher cactus and the sun's shining through the uh, thorns. It looks pretty cool. All bright red. Check it out. Gotta love it. 
Yeah. One of my favorite cactus. They get a nice little red flowers on them. Pretty cool. But it's a fish hook cactus. If you look real close at the spines, you can see why they call it that. Sorry about the glare of the sun, but I have to suffer through it for that picture. Anyway, back at it. All right, I got a little bit of a faint target here. We moved some dirt. It was a low high. Now it's a high low. So let's see what we got. Maybe something small. Caught in a darn tree here. Ugh. I don't know, very strange kind of signal. A little more dirt here. Alright, there's a target down in there. That started out real iffy. Yeah, you can hear my pick with that machine all the way over there. Now, hopefully it's not hot rock like this big one right here. Let's find out. Might be. No. Okay. Hmm. It's a hole a little bigger so I can hear what I'm doing here. <sighs> Sounds like we moved it. I'm getting some sort of air French. Okay, I don't know if I have to move the camera or what I'm going to have to do here. Target somewhere in this pile of dirt. It's here in the camera. I'm going to shut this thing off and cover the target. Well, I had trouble locating that one because there was a piece of iron that got stuck to the magnet. So anyway, another trash target. Alrighty, target here. Rocks away. Still there. Moved it. Sounds like it's right there. I think we got it. Yep, we got it. Right away. Something small. Hard to tell. That sounds awful lot like the sound of a BB. Staying in the riffles. These scoops are pretty cool for that. Yeah, I'm getting a little hope. I like the BB sticking there pretty good too. Oh, oh, right there, right there. I'm thinking. That's a little piece of gold, I bet. Sure can't tell by looking at it. Let me get a wet.
Yeah, most certainly is. A little piece of gold. Finally got one. Well, oh, that's a tiny one there. But hey, they all add up, right? Gold's gold, my friends. Nice little piece. Real shallow. Laying right there. Oh, I love this machine. It's really almost hard for me to get skunked using this machine. I know that sounds crazy. And a lot of it's due to I know where to go because I've been to these places and I found gold in a lot of them before, but still, I'm impressed. So, it's one under the belt. Let's see if we can get another one. Maybe a little bigger, eh? Well, I didn't turn the camera on for this dig. <laughs> it was really shallow. I figured it was going to be junk, but it wasn't. It's a little bitty nugget. A little bitty, uh, I don't know, kind of wire-shaped piece. Kind of nice. Just right inch down, maybe. That's two on the day. I'm feeling better now. Yes, sirree. We got a target right here. Now this is a spot I wasn't able to really hunt with my VLF machines over the years because of the uh, all the hot rocks. This machine doesn't hear a lot of them. Actually, it doesn't hear most of them. Okay, let's see what we got. Because I took the time to turn the camera on, this will probably be junk. <laughs> Staying in there good though. Yeah, that's always a good sign. I like those riffles. Yep, yep. gonna be a BB. See? I go to trouble to turn the camera on. There's what you get for your efforts. Ah. Off we go. Well, another hunt into the books. Nothing big today. These are the smallest ones I got in several days. But there they are. Two cute little San Domingo nuggets. Which is better than no San Domingo nuggets. Dug a lot of trash again today, but uh, I seldom get skunked with this machine. I really like that. Reminds me of the old days, by golly. But anyway, if you like these videos, um, if you want to learn how to find gold, like, subscribe, ring that bell. And I'll keep sharing and uh, keep trying to help others find this beautiful gold out here in the Arizona desert and elsewhere. Nugget shooter out.